Okay, so next thing we're going to do uh, is create the um, kind of roof slash floor uh, between the, the, the two uh, floors. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this with a box. Um, and yeah, this will be off by default, this auto grid. So you want that to be turned on. That way I can draw against the surface that I, uh, my mouse is on. So I'm going to start up here. It doesn't need to be dead on because we're going to uh, align that in a minute. But just draw a box against that surface, something like that for, for now. Um, make sure it's one segment all the way and then convert to an editable poly. I'm just going to match that color up. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this part of the model, get a polygon from each of the sides, and then we can copy that over so that the, um, the edges all flush. So this is the X axis, which I'm going to copy. Come to this model here <clears throat> and paste that. So that's flush there. Come to my model again. This surface, this way is the Y this time. Copy that one. Paste that one onto there. This way this time. That's X. There we are. One more to go. This one is Y again. There we go. So that's all flush. Now, there's a couple of things we need to do to this, um, mainly because there's a staircase in here. So, you know, we need a, a cutout to actually get up to the next floor. And we've got this window situation where the window continues on upwards. So what I need to do now, um, actually just to make sure I've aligned the height of this to there, that's fine. I'm going to go to the top view, which is here. I'm going to go Alt X so I can see through it. And I'm going to, going to go to edge. Now I'm going to cut in edges where um, the staircase and everything is going to be. So first of all, I need that wall there. So I'm going to go that way, which will select those edges on that side. I'm going to hit connect. I'm going to move this guy up to my walls there. All right. And I need the walls down this side. So I'm going to go this way, connect, move that along up there. Hopefully this makes sense now. And hopefully I'm not going through things too quickly with what you've done already. What I'm doing should make sense. Um, and then I'm going to go uh, which way? Where do I need to go? <laughs> um, this way. Connect. And I'm going to have something at the start of those stairs. Yeah. This way. It's the edge of the stairs that side. This way again. The edge of the stairs this side and then this way once more because I need something the end of the stairs there what I've my goal is to create here is a polygon there those three so that I can cut that out because that's where the staircase is going to come up hopefully that makes sense and then I just need to do something with these so I can got that cut out for those windows um, there we go on that end and one the end. That should be all I need to do. So now what I can do now is just get those and let's isolate the selection of what I can do is a right click. I can isolate the selection, which will get rid of everything else out of the way. And then I can get those and bridge them. That's where my staircase is going to come up. And then this guy needs deleting. And um, what will happen is you'll have um, kind of a, you know, the end missing, 
So you can go to border, select that, and hit cap to cap that off. Uh, yeah, great. So right click and end isolation. Okay, so I've got a section where the staircase um, will go up. And I want to make this really flush as well. So I need the X axis there to be the same as this one. <laughs> That's really being a perfectionist, to be honest. X again. There we are. Great. So now what I want to do is get this. Move it over here now. And move it up here. Okay, because I'm just going to be extruding up from this surface. But again, I need to make this perfectly positioned. So I'm going to go to my top view. I can really perfect this later on. But what you can do is you, you zoom in really, really far. You can get it basically dead on. And if it needs to be really made flush um, later, we can do that. But for now, that should be absolutely fine. Height-wise, I've got a little bit of an issue, so that needs to be dropped down. Okay, again, that can be perfected later if needs be. Right, so we're going to go to Polygon and then Control A. Same process as we did before with the ground floor. And we're going to start extruding upwards. Um, I need to look at this view. Okay, here we are again. So I'm going to go up, and what we've we got, we've got that window there. Tick. We've got uh, the bottom of that window there. We've got top of that window there. And then the bottom of that roof. And then the top of that roof. I say the top of the roof like the top the bit before the actual roof. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Right, so as with before, we just need to check that there's nothing we've missed. So if I go to my reference image, which is this guy here, uh, there is, let's have a look. So we've got that window there. Or do we? We've got the door for sure. That's there. Let's just go ahead and punch it out. Bridge. There's definitely a window to the side of it. That one there, look, it's a bathroom window. So let's bridge that. And that window looks like it's in line with the top of that. So yeah, that is going to be this one here. Don't think we're going to need to add anything else in. That's quite good. Around the side, there is a window there. And there is a window here. Around the back, we have this one. And we, of course, have the rest of this one. Okay, which we can make flash again in a minute, but you can see now that with the three combined pieces, we still got that window cut out. Great, and we can just pop over here to look at anything we need for the interior. I find again this confusing with this these plans. I mean, 
Is there no door? Going into the bathroom? <laughs> I mean, fair enough, but seems odd. We'll ignore that. Um, it's not too much of a concern. Um, that all seems fine. Um, there's an annoying polygon there. We don't need. Uh, let's just align all this up then. Go back to you. Let's get that X value again. Just because we really want this to be flush, otherwise it's not going to look right. Okay, that's great. Um, Going to make all those bits the same color. Okay, cool. So things are coming along now. Um, one thing that we do need to also address here is around the front, you've got this bit, um, which I don't have completed. So that's kind of part of the walls and we want to get the walls finished now. So what I'm going to do, I don't have the geometry going upwards there. I don't think I need it. What I really can just do um, is extrude this up. Where does that go to? Do I have that in my references here? No, because it's the back. Uh, it only just goes above there. I think I'll have to manually eye that, something like that. And then we can just extrude this one this way. And that comes to the end there. Now you can see that my wall is over kind of overhanging a bit there, which that kind of hides. On this side, it's basically flush. If you want, you can go ahead and in the same process we've done with making things flush, do the whole thing for um, the other sides of the building. I'm going to leave mine how it is because I'm happy with that. And we're ready to move on in the next one.